Today I'm going over 20 facts that you may have not known that was in the Greenville update. And starting off behind me is this 2024 BMW. This car will set you back 215k. And the only uh, real secret on this vehicle or fact is if you actually hop in here and you hit G. Uh, just listen to that. There was another BMW in the past that actually made this, but I don't think you could obtain it anymore. So yeah, pretty in interesting. I don't think that's worth buying it for uh, 215k just to listen to that, but um, ah, do what you want. With rain being added, you need some cover, and if you're walking constantly, obviously that could be pretty bad. So that's why you are equipped now with an umbrella. All you have to do is just click and it'll um, actually open up and um, actually uh, kind of stops the rain, which is actually really cool. Just a cool accessory that you actually have now. If you actually head over to the dealership, ignoring all the new cars, obviously, um, if you actually sort by high to low, you'll notice that Skane is actually back in the game. Um, I have no idea why, but it you can just obtain these cars again. Yeah, you can obtain them again. Uh, unfortunately, though, the brand is actually still technically not in the game. Um, there's no skein that you can sort by. Alright, so with this fact, I'm not sure if this actually works with most bins in the game, but I know some do. They actually are redone here, and if you actually head on over, you can throw away items um, if you want. So if I wanted to throw away this umbrella, I can't because you kind of have to have it or whatever, and um, not have it in your inventory, which I think is actually a really good idea and a good detail. This one I found pretty neat, but if you actually head over to the uh, WSP station um, and you actually head over to the um, cells that um, prisoners stay at, you'll notice that it is way more detailed. You actually have beds in there um, and um, actual like proper doors. I did not find this though, but Arze's did, so um, thank you um, for uh, finding this. It just looks so cool and detailed. Um, it's legit what you would actually see. So, um, yeah, pretty insane and um, very cool detail. So Greenville decided to add another Beater Limited. This is the second one that we've received. Um, it's more of like a kind of like a car takeover type style. Um, if you actually uh, head on in, you'll notice that when you start it up, the red lights pop up in the front, which is it just looks so mean. Know about that? Yeah, you can see the red lights in the front. Plate is actually folded up, which is actually so cool. So this car is just packed with interesting details. On top of that, the stop sign and the slow sign actually got uh, replaced with more realistic um, signs, and it actually flashes stop. And then when you hits when you're on the slow, um, it actually flash it blinks lights, which is so cool. Like honestly, I'm glad it's two different signs now, not just a flipping sign. While on WSP, um, you actually have a new holding animation and. A shooting animation if you right click it's actually a lot smoother and better um, and I find it's actually really cool like it's it's way more precise and you can actually zoom into and you can go first person it looks the best first person when you have your gun out like that it just it looks so cool now with rain and everything that's been added I'm not sure though but to me it seems like um, certain lights got added to certain places and they're just a whole lot brighter when it rains so um, that's just what I'm noticing. Um, I don't know if it's actually um, true though, but that's what I just noticed. So um, yeah, very, very cool there. Now with the rain also, there is a chance and a possibility that you'll hydroplane if you have traction control off and you swerve a little bit um, and you will just lose control of the vehicle because the roads will become slippery and um, you'll have no control like that. Look, I have no control and it just kind of crashed. This Senex by the Junkyard finally has an interior, so now it makes role playing a lot more uh, better. Um, you can actually look at this. This is actually kind of cool. Um, you got a little stand here, and it's just a basic, um, regular looking store. Pretty bland looking, but it's still a thing, so that's really cool. Also, got slushy makers too. Actually, those don't even work, which is fine. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, very, very cool, and um, let's move on to the next one. While driving, you have a very rare chance of hearing your car make a, like, metal hitting sound. It's very rare to get. I don't actually know how rare it is, but, um, you have a chance of, uh, hearing that when you actually collide into objects and stuff, so, kind of thing. So, um, yeah, just crash until you get it, and then there you go. With the weather, you actually have a ton of new commands. You can do weather, rain, or you can make it sunny, you can make it cloudy, you can make it, 
um, slightly cloudy, and um, there's a, there's about seven commands that you can do, um, and um, to your, you can customize it to your liking on how you want your gameplay to be. Um, also, if you actually head over to the settings, there's a new tab that's environment. Um, you can do on-screen raindrops. That'll add those splashes. I don't really like it that much, so I have it turned off. You have raindrop speed um, and base off of character speed. Um, raindrops move to the side, and then you can determine if you want um, the rain to sound different when you're underneath um, like a building or something. Uh, it'll act different, so very cool there. Something really cool about this specific Tacoma here, it actually has badges that says Corvette Powered. That's the Corvette logo within game. And um, the badging is actually quite literally everywhere on this truck, even on the tailgate. Um, it's a very detailed truck too with the skid plate and all of the components for your front and rear axle as well as the drive shaft, exhaust, all that stuff. Even has a tow hitch at the back. Very detailed truck. Let's just get a sound on it. Oh, what a perfect startup. Yet again, RZ has found this very cool thing, but if you actually head over to the graveyard, you will notice that one of the gravestones... You actually notice that one of the gravestones, you'll see a um, bumper there, and um, it's actually kind of weird to see, but if the grave... Let's see what the gravestone says here. Um, it says, Engine 1 in Uzi's Musica. Um, I don't know what that's referring to, but uh, very cool that um, that's there. Now, these are the limiteds that actually um, became limiteds um, during the updates. Um, I will go through all of them that uh, got replaced. So we have the GTR here. Um, this thing was replaced, um, so this one became a limited. Then we also have up here... There is this car right here, the Dodge Charger. This one, some for some reason, they didn't just get refreshed, but it's limited now, so that's pretty cool. Um, you also have these ones. These ones became limited, these two right here. And this one became limited, as well as the Kia Soul and the Tacoma. And I think that's all that... Oh, yeah, and then these two also went limited, too. The Nissan Rogue and then the Chevy um, 454 SS also went limited. And that's all I have. Let me know in the comments below um, what you actually have that went limited this update. And, um, yeah, let's move on. Something very cool. Vending machines actually work now, so you hit E to use. And I guess it gives you a random drink or whatever it wants to give you. So there it is. There's mine. Got Heenergy, obviously. If we actually head on over to the OCSO station, um, you will be um, surprised that it actually got refreshed completely um, and the building just looks a million times better than it, what it used to look like. Bill, okay, yeah, look at all the monitors here. And you also, actually, while we're here, another fact, um, these actually have new stories now, so... That's pretty cool. I'll just add that in there. This is what. This is why you want to be here. Look at how much space there is in here. You got like a bunch of lifts here. Um, you got these ones. One of them's up for some reason. You got like the bull bar or the push bars here. Lots of uh, ramps here. So the lifted ram actually got its horn changed yet again. Let's have a listen here. Now it's a regular horn, nothing fantastic anymore, which kind of sucks, but um, apparently it was getting annoying and stuff, so, um, you know, whatever though. But uh, yeah, the Ram truck now has a boring horn. And let's go on to the last one. So now I'm the criminal team. Um, let me just grab a vehicle really quickly here and over it in my update video how to, well, kind of how to use it and how it works. Um, so actually, if you go into this door right here, uh, you'll notice that there's a vault you have to access it by holding E or clicking or holding. Um, then you have to follow the pattern that it shows you and you can access the inside which it'll give you cash as well as you'll need to, uh, you'll have a five minute cooldown or whatever um, that you are wanted for and you just have to escape the cops. And um, it doesn't pay that much, it's about like $700 depending on um, how much you rob. So um, it's not that worth it but it's just fun to do. And that will wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the 20 facts. Actually, I think I added a little more than 20 facts. But, uh, yeah, hopefully that helped you a lot. And, um, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys all in the next one.